Try to have the same tension on this one that you did on the other side. This is your leg bar, it came in the rail box. Also in the rail box were two black hex head bolts with two lock washers. When you tighten this, you're going to want both of the legs in the same position. And these you can tighten fairly tight. You don't want to strip them, but tight enough to where they won't move. And that's the leg bar. The last final step for the cabinet is the toe kick. Goes down here at the bottom. Got the L brackets already installed on it. And then you need a second person to pull the bed face down so that you can access the L brackets. You're going to use four of the 5 8 inch screws. Try to line it up the best you can. It's a toe kick. Next we're going to move on into bed adjustment. Sometimes the beds, depending on how your walls are and how square you've built the box, won't close or they'll rub on one side like this one is. Luckily there's some adjustment that can be done. And note that when we installed the mechanisms, the top washer was the, uh, the adjustment washer. You're going to want to take your half inch socket and loosen up the front two bolts. Since my bed face is hitting on that side, I'm going to want to drop this side down to bring that over. The way that we put these washers in, they're at their highest adjustment. That way if it's, if it's hitting on the right side of the bed face, you'll lower the left side. It's hitting on the left side of the bed face, you'll lower the right side. And tighten it back up. There you go. Now, if you don't purchase the optional table, you're going to have to install the handles that are supplied with the bed. Where you place them is personal preference. You might want to keep them symmetrical. That's a popular spot. You can put one up here, pretty much wherever you want, wherever's comfortable for you. Now the next and final step is to install the mattress. Make sure that the mattress you purchase is not any thicker than nine and a half inches as the bed will not shut if you get a bigger mattress. First you want to pull the bed down, undo the mattress strap, hold it over to the side. You can hold the bed down by putting your foot on the leg bar. And the weight of the mattress should hold your bed down. And there's your installed Murphy bed.
All right, now we're going to be installing the optional crown for the bed. You're going to have three pieces. You're going to have a right side, a left side, and the center piece. You're going to have four 5 8 inch screws. You're going to have some uh, one and a quarter inch screws, and you're going to need a ladder and your drill with the square drive bit. So first, we lay in the crown out like it would be on the bed. This is going to be your front part. You want to take your sides and place them where they'd be. Next, you're going to take your, uh, your 5 8 inch screws, line up the miter as best you can. Together with two screws in each L bracket. Repeat the process on the other side. Next, we can take this, slide it on top of the bed. Take your ladder and your inch and a quarter screws. When you climb up there, you're going to want to kind of even it out. You should have about a quarter inch on each side. And take your inch and a quarter screws and screw down into the top. Once you get the corner tacked, you can make sure your miter's still lined up. Check to make sure that your reveal is consistent along the edge. Tap it with an inch and a quarter screw. And make sure your reveal is consistent. And your miter lines up. Throw one in the middle for make sure it's secure. And that's how you install the optional crown on the Murphy beds. Now we're going to be assembling the optional side tower. Right here we have the shelves. We should have four of them. We have the top, bottom, and the middle partition, they're all interchangeable. You'll note the female Rayfix connectors on them. Here we have 12 Rayfix studs, and then here are our wall sides. You'll note the, the holes on each side. Those are for hinges, which is for the optional door, which you can install on either side. Our first step, We'll be installing the Rayfix studs each side of the tower. This is for the middle partition. This is for the top. And then you'll repeat this process for the other side. Next step is going to be to install the partitions. What I'm working on now is the bottom. You're going to make sure all your female white connectors here are placed so that you will not see them. Top, you're going to want to face it away from the rest of the tower. Next, flip the other wall side on top of the one you just did. Start at the top. Get the Rayfix connectors lined in. Might be easier for you if you get a second person to help you. 
Just repeat the process of tightening up the female Rayfix connections. We're going to take the toe kick. It already has your L brackets installed on it. You're going to take four of the 5 8 inch screws. You want to make sure you install the toe kick on the front, which is going to be the side that has that has the door the door hinge screws already pre-drilled for. Line that up as best you can. Try to get it flush with the front. Repeat that step on the other side. Next, stand the cabinet up. This one we're going to put on the right side of the bed. So since the bed is already level, we can just put our wall side against that. And if it sags like this is, we can take some of the shims that we picked up from the hardware store, level it up. Now we're ready to install the cabinet, kind of like we did the Murphy bed. I have an L bracket, a couple 5 8 inch screws, and a 3 inch screw. First, you get up here and find a stud. Now you're probably only going to hit one stud with the tower, but you're going to be attaching it to the bed also, so that will be enough. First, attach your L bracket to the cabinet. I try to hide them so that you won't notice them. Now we're going to install the shelves. We have shelf pins. Placement of the shelves is entirely up to you. I usually like to space them evenly. Make sure you get them in the same spot on each, on each shelf bore. And then you just repeat the process for the other shelves. Now that we have the cabinet installed and all the shelves in, I'm going to show you how to install the optional crown. I've already put it together just like we did for the bed and attach it the exact same way with the inch and a quarter screws. Just line it up and make sure you have a consistent reveal. Okay. That's the Murphy bed system with the optional tower.